As I carefully examine the enigmatic object before me, its intricate design suggests that it may indeed be a thumb protector, meticulously crafted to safeguard a precious digit from potential harm. However, the question lingers in my mind, for what purpose was this unique contraption intended? Discovered amidst the eclectic array of items at a bustling yard sale, it stands as a silent testament to a bygone era. Its presence evokes a sense of nostalgia, as if it holds within its very essence the memories of countless hands that once relied on its protective embrace. This item is composed of interlocking metal wire that is movable, almost in a way of normal metal chains but instead of a closed ring it goes down into two loops that interlock the next piece, like chainmail. Has a leather strap with belt-like closures that would fit nicely around the wrist. The metal bit is five or so inches long. Any idea what this is made for? It's an antique butcher's thumb protector. Six numbered wood cubes in a very old cardboard box. I thought it might be dice because each one is numbered one to six, but they don't have chamfered corners and don't really roll when tossed. Box is very old, maybe 1950s or 1960s, and stickers, labels have come off. Anyone know what this is? It's a puzzle. Octomania. What is this thing, rusted in a microphone-like pedestal but with holes to screw it in place? The circular part is hollow. It's about 8 inches tall and about 3 inches wide. It's too small to be a fan. Because the screw holes I thought it could be a horn or siren of some sort. The top part is made of stamped metal. The bottom seems to be made of cast iron. Looking closer at the bottom there are a couple markings, the letter M and the number 10. It's a vintage Chicago electric desk fan, but the assembly is missing. I found this odd set of disposable cutlery in a new flat I just moved into. They're made of plastic and have no writing on them, the only patterning is the double diamond on the wide spatula thing. What are these and what are they for? They're clay modeling instruments or cake decorating tools. I found it at Missouri Farm, a small metal trinket, hidden beneath the Earth's surface. As it was unearthed, its intricate details came to light, captivating the observer's attention. Adorned with the majestic figure of an eagle, the delicate fleur de lis symbol, and an enchanting rope pattern, the front of the trinket exuded an air of mystery and ancient allure. Adding to its enigmatic nature, a sturdy metal band adorned the back, hinting at its durability and craftsmanship. Quarter for scale. What is this thing? It's a Boy Scout's neckerchief slide. Landlord found it in the basement. Heavy metal object, covered in dust and mystery. Its origins and purpose remained unknown, leaving the landlord intrigued and eager to uncover its secrets. Google isn't responding well to, scary wand, or, aggressive pleasure instrument. I have looked up stakes, weighted stakes, wrought iron stakes, metal curled weighted tool. Heavy ironish material. The base is solid metal, top is also metal but no markings. Any idea what this is made for? It's a soldering iron. The end I am holding is the head, and is usually copper. The other end would normally have a wood handle. Someone gave this to my friend and said it was a vibrator. It does indeed vibrate the black knob when plugged in. Is this real? It's metal with a plastic round knob, thing coming out of it and a plastic handle. It does vibrate, quite intensely, when plugged in. The person who gave it to my friend was dead serious that it's a vibrator and maybe it is but obviously not from a recent decade. Is it actually? Is it something else? This is not a joke. Anyone know what this is? It's a 1920s electric massager. I found it on the sandy shores of Scotland, a plastic ring with an intriguing twist. Its vibrant yellow hue caught the eye, contrasting against the muted tones of the beach. Measuring approximately 15 centimeters across, the ring boasted a sturdy construction, crafted from hard, unyielding plastic. Yet, it was the three menacing metal claws that truly captured attention. Curved and sharp, they protruded from one side of the ring, like the talons of a mythical creature. Any idea what this is made for? It's a claw to help pull in fishing nets. 
I found this doodad in a box of junk jewelry. The chain length is roughly 10 inches. The flower disc slides up and down the chain. There is a spring ring clasp on one end. The finding do look relatively old. My guess is at least 1950s or older. Appears to be brass, possibly copper. There is no writing or stamps present. Any ideas what this thing is? This is antique ladies watch chain. Wooden elephants with a rod through them. Rod slides out and elephants are removable. Found at Goodwill, no words other than, made in Philippines. I found a link online for $22, but it didn't post well. Almost as long as a book. Anyone know what this is? It's a rack for all those elephant-shaped napkin holders. Metal rocket-shaped holder for something. Banana for scale, 13 inches tall. Openings are 1.25 inches, 0.66 inches. Found this at the thrift store. It's metal little over a foot tall. The larger opening on the top are 1 1 fourth of an inch at the widest part and the bottom small openings are 2 thirds of an inch. I would guess it would hold some kind of utensil with a larger top and smaller bottom. Only one I can find says mug holder but that doesn't work. Any ideas? It's a stand for bar tools. The little hooks are a very specific shape that really wouldn't work well for mugs or bottles but they are common on bar tool racks. About 2 inches tall hand carved marble cup. My grandfather thinks he has stumped me and won't tell me what this is. He said it's at least 110 years old, and was usually found on the desks of more wealthy men. I've searched for antique desk accessories to no avail. It's not a sample holder, toothpick holder, or wax seal holder. He just added that it could be found on the table at fancy restaurants. This was given to my grandpa when he was in his 20s by an elderly man who had it on his desk for 50 years. Any ideas what this thing is? It's a match holder. The holes provided an abrasive texture against which to strike the match head. Found in an old building in the Netherlands years ago. The top, middle part looks like it could hold something, in the metal holes. What is this large wooden board with movable red and white beads on the rim? Looks like game, table, with beads to keep score, but what type of game? Would be great if someone recognizes this thing. It's called a billard necklace. It appears to be a French game of some sort. 